Just remind us how big a name he is in the sport of baseball. I beg your pardon, I'm not sure Ben can hear us. Ben, can you hear me in, in New York? It's Francis in London. You know, it's even a worse situation than that because I am not Ben Walker and I know nothing about baseball. I do, however, know a lot. I beg your pardon, we have the wrong guest. A powerful tycoon has struck disaster-ravaged Japan. Kim Vanell, One News. The old black caught up in a binge booze, booze binge controversy is now getting the backing of teammates. Pakistanis still grieving over attacks in the wake of Osama bin Laden's death. I do beg your pardon, my throat is just killing me. The jury must decide who gave the pop star his last lethal dose of Anastasia, oh, an, uh, of, the, uh, of an anaesthetic drug, Dr Murray or Jackson himself. Television gold for you, I wonder if Dan News was recording that one. And um, I would say it's like, think AMP show, but with everything Maori. So they've got sports, games, great music. <laughs> Peter Weems has just fallen off his chair. Yeah, I know, he's, he's so excited. <laughs> I have to confess it. Uh, he did try and catch it. I'm so it. looking forward to seeing that 50,000 times on YouTube, <laughs> Peter. <laughs> and our league reporter, Andrew Morrison, joins us live from Mount Smart Stadium. Andrew. Yes, we're sidelined here. But the South African fans were still vocal when the team arrived at midnight. A college student in the United States has made a life-size virgin version. <laughs> okay, brought in slip there. A college student in the United States has made a life-size version of Barbie to help spread the word on body image. <laughs> Get some finance quickly. That's got to go on blooper tapes around the world. Going to teach us how to make comfort food favourites. Something you can also shove yep. in the freezer. Swedish meatballs. I've been I've been sitting over there smelling your balls. Uh, sm Thank smelling you so your much. Meatballs all morning. Yeah, um, I know. And uh, beautiful. So take it away. What do we have to do? The uh, chance of a few showers up in the northwest here, but don't worry, Martin. Yeah. Uh, Staying fine for the rugby tomorrow night. Martin Stead, on close up next. Stay alone, look at that. Oh, uh, oh, oh sorry, no. little details. Um, I, um, you might have to look at what it was going to be. I had a nice ending to this weather too. For uh, This could be my last weather here on TV3. <laughs> three, TV3. Uh, it was pretty good all weekend. Mike and Hillary and John Campbell next on Campbell Life. Thank you, well, Mike. Well, that'll yeah. be on YouTube, surely. <laughs> and it's been lovely knowing you. <laughs> This is Prime News, first at 5.30. Kia ora, good evening. They told us the Rugby World Cup would give the country... Gets crafty oh, with Christmas. I missed my line. Yeah, I mean, we had to run so quickly. Ka kite a popo. There you go, that's yours. The, the young gnats, it's good if they're doing any drinking, we need them to eat. That, that lady there, she, yeah, we need them to have some good, some good lining in their stomach. A historic prisoner swap in the Middle East as Israeli soldier Gilad Shalit comes home in return for a thousand Palestinians. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have your attention now, Smalley? What I think Dobbo looked like he fell a little bit in love in that interview, didn't he? That's right, it was Dobbo. It's just edging into a little bit of a relief, I think. The uh, Lindau's flowing a little bit more freely as we see that lead open over Paul Goldsmith, the national candidate. Uh, speaking to people during the day... Cool again in Christchurch. Oh, are we? Oh, yeah, there we are. Uh, strengthening northeast Lees and 70 degrees. Oh, we're going the other way. <laughs> Laugh. Uh, you can reflect on what I just said. Wellington, there. Gisborne, 17. God, this is just really falling apart at the seams. Taronga, 21. Fakatani, 21. Other places, different temperatures. Whangarei, 21. Auckland, 21. Hamilton, 22. Seamless. Magic. <laughs> The 
Yeah, but that's... That, that, <laughs> <laughs> we are not moving on. We are not moving on. <laughs> OK, OK. Karen's still really excited. <clears throat> Petra, what are we going to do with you today? Is it going to be like this all day? He's going to be like this all day long because he lived through that final. His heart did not give out. You know, some of Mark Todd's personal habits, <laughs> frankly, don't always lend to, um, you know, being... That's a curly one, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, he's had the odd fag over the years, hasn't yep. he? So you wouldn't have thought he was necessarily the... Um, what the... did you just say? <laughs> Cigarette, I meant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. um, but... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> OK, um, so he likened uh, Batman yeah. to, to Wimbledon. You keep doing that. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you, you keep watching. Nothing to that's, see here. That's sport, Moving Rachel. on. Thank you very much, Sam. Whee. 32, the top. And that's Seven's early news for this Monday morning. I'm Natalie Barr. Stand by now for Sunrise. Thank you, Lucas. Only I have to say, did you say with the Prime Minister going down on him? The down on him? No, the Prime Minister was here. He had a photo too. All I don't right. know if he went down on him, Petra. <laughs> no, I hope, it, I hope not. <clears throat> Excuse me. Coming up after the one... Sorry, coming up after one news, the minor party leaders front up for the campaign 2011 debate. And the central bank also says that our retail banks are in a much better position this year than what they were during the credit, credit crunch three years ago. Heather Duplessy, Ellen, thank you. The video came up, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> You're on you. You're on you. Am I on TV? Yeah. How come I could still hear computers want me dead? What's up, people? Welcome back to election 2011. Now, we're getting very worried about Greg Boyd up there at uh, outside Phil Goff's place. He's had no company, no phone uh, access, and uh, nothing much happening. Has anything improved there, Greg? He's texting. He's busy, Mark. Hello, Greg. <laughs> <laughs> He's looking for friends. He is mesmerised by the phone. <laughs> Greg Boyd? Hello, Greg Boyd. <laughs> it's cruel. <laughs> All right. Ooh, that isn't, Petro. How about that? That's what happens when you're doing live TV. You could follow it through and you could, you know, you didn't have to sort of... Watch it on the news. Well, and, 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 well of course you have to watch it. Oh, yeah, of course you do. That's a terrible thing to say. Of course you do. And there's going to be plenty more news. Look, I just want to Simon, Simon Dello. Look, <laughs> on behalf, Sorry, of, on behalf of, uh, of Simon well, Dello, John Jay Henson, Guy and and myself. You can keep playing. This okay. could be the soundtrack to the introduction. And then we go into the factory to look at Marmite, how in reality it's made and packed and put in packs and put in packs and sent on home and you can give it back to your kids on their toast. And look, National knows there's a big appetite for, well... What do people receiving welfare payments think of the... the election campaign? Thanks, pre-recorded guy on. Uh, we're going to have... Apparently, we're going to have... Oh, lucky me. <laughs> we're going to have... We're going to have a great night. Back here now, the SPCA is investigating this morning. We got our microphone on? We are now. Right. This appears to be Tripoli. And we saw a portaloo before. So a Christchurch woman has gone to extraordinary lengths to save her portaloo. That clearly wasn't her, though. I think she was very cross. Two, uh, two other news now. I think this is my one. Would you like to do it? Sure. Two other news now. I, I suggest that everyone do it at least once in a lifetime if they can, Reggie. All right, Aisha. And I would love it to do it to do it with you next year in Times Square. And that, that of course, I mean celebrating the New Year's. <laughs> Aisha, <laughs> thank you so much. Have a good one. Not uh, indeed. In fact, uh, as far as Times Square, I would love to do it with you and Aisha <laughs> heading into next year. Absolutely. That would be a fantastic time. Bruno attacked his vehicle, biting the tyre, puncturing it. The cop changed the tyre, but when he returned, the bull mastiff cross again attacked his tyre, again puncturing it. Another sergeant came to the officer's aid, but he too had his tyre attacked and punctured. So an animal control officer was called in, but yes, he too had his tyre attacked and punctured. It slid into the back of his house, the thumping on the back wall waking Hiscock and his wife. Uh, and we will see you again tomorrow, of course, business at 6 and breakfast from 6. 30. Cash hey, it in. Cheers. Pete, you want to come over to my house? I've got a couple of holes. <laughs> We have a few problems with that vision at the moment. We'll try to bring that to you shortly. As that waka came in, New Zealand's Dave Dobbin greeted our international visitors on acoustic guitar singing Welcome Home. And I've just been told we don't have that either. Things are running both 
celebrate. We're just going to take a quick break to get ourselves sorted, but stay tuned. Remember, TV1 has full coverage of this opening event going right through till late tonight. A warning for yachties is next on One News about taking a wide berth around a disputed reef. In the last couple of hours, the people have started to get off work. Things have filed in here. <laughs> some all black supporters here as well but I can tell you that during the day this is very different it's a great showpiece for what New Zealand has to offer but tonight this is going to be the place to be it's a fan zone it's absolutely perfectly kitted out we've obviously got the big screens behind us uh, but yeah steady stream of Tongan fans steady stream of black fans coming in it's dialing up. hello Tony you might have got buried in all those people Jeff can you just tell them I've lost no, it sounds like we might have... Oh, there All he goes. Right. OK. Peter, much of the day has been spent clearing up this debris that was just flung from absolutely everywhere in yesterday's tsunami, I mean tornado. As well as heavy, uh, as well as the strong winds, there was heavy rain and marble-sized golf balls. One News has just got... To... One News has just gotten pictures after a dramatic rescue. My body is a temple <laughs> or something really? like that. No, more of a sort of decrepit, kind of broken uh, down, uh, fixer up or up, but... <laughs> a renovator's delight. Yeah. Like, how is Hollywood reacting to this news? Now, this is the second day you've called me Blake. It's Blair, darling. Blair. For now, week nine of the Cup kicks off tonight with Auckland taking on Counties Manukau. With that story and much more from the One News team in London, we cross now to Wendy Petrie outside Buckingham Palace. Uh, Wendy, good evening. Very early there, isn't it? Hello, yes. Yes, it is, it is. It's very breezy. How are you, Simon? Yes, it is the story and um, that we're all talking about. It's the frock that's got fashion experts all abuzz. I'm Rachel Smalley. Thanks for joining us. Good evening. Good morning. You know, we went right down to the wire and it was, you know, there was a lot of, a lot of okay. colour and... Uh, Obviously and some excited Welsh yeah, fans I mean, tonight yeah. as well. Is that I want... To, <laughs> I said to his media, oh. press sec, Sam? <laughs> Don't. Are you actually choking? No. Do you know my cousin and his new bride are there for their honeymoon? How Man, good would that be? A little noisy though, I'd say. Yeah, you're right On there. the track, I mean. Great to see Mark. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's funny. <laughs> and even people that I don't think are Tongan are still supporting the Tongans, especially around here. Malaya Lolo, absolutely. This is 3 News at 12. Kia ora, good evening. Kia ora, good morning. <laughs> good afternoon, even. That's a great start to midday news, isn't it? When it was hosted here. Oh, no, <laughs> We are currently live again. Very excited. Well, you guys, you guys, are, are you guys Irish fans? No, no, don't. No, no, there'll be no tackling, no tackling on live television. But I'll tell you what, they're very excited, Tracy. And I'll go back to you, and you can run through all the highlights while I hang out with my friends here. Who are very excited. 